Hi there, well I must thank everybody for the uh, suggestions on how to uh, possibly get this hobby machine working properly. And I've made a long list of uh, all the suggestions and in this video I'm going to work my way through them. Well a few people suggested that the problem might be associated with taking multiple cuts and uh, just to dispel that theory this is a gear, if you can call it a gear, uh, cut um, out of mild steel and uh, made in one cut, took a while to cut it and this is using Andy's uh, machine code and uh, as you can see the teeth are really uh, badly formed. Now I think some others suggested that it might be um, a program problem so just to dispel that theory because uh, I'm sure and you know Andy's been using his code to cut all sorts of different types of gears and it works perfectly so again to dispel that theory I wrote my own um, Arduino script to cut this gear 21 teeth again out of mild steel my, my script is very very basic um, so it's quite efficient and again you can see here that the teeth are virtually identical to Andy's probably not as badly formed uh, but there's some big gaps there, so I, I, don't, I don't think it's a program problem as such. Now my stepper motor's rated around about 2 amps, and uh, I've got the driver set at to 1.91 amps peak, and 1.36 amps RMS, and some had suggested that uh, it, it might not be high enough. So I've just changed it to uh, 2.84 amps peak, and uh, 2.03 amps RMS and the motor does actually make it well it's a bit noisier so I, I'm just wondering whether that's the correct thing to do uh, but the um, result is pretty much the same um, no real difference to be honest so I don't think it's that now as a test I've just touched this uh, blank with the cutter uh, quite some time ago, just to mark it, and now I'm going to do the same again and see if it's out of sync. bit difficult to tell. So I'll uh, cut this to a depth of uh, 45 thou in one pass. face of it that looks pretty good. Now the gear I've just cut is this gear on the right and prior to cutting it I made two adjustments. Uh, the first adjustment was that um, when Adam gave me the rotary encoder he uh, included a couple of uh, 10k pull-up resistors and he subsequently suggested that maybe those needed to be replaced by 2.2k uh, pull-up resistors so I've just done that. I'll show you a diagram of that. And the other change I uh, made was on the stepper driver. It was originally set to 200 pulse, pulses per revolution. And uh, I decided to change that to uh, 800 pulses per revolution. Um, and with it being a 3 to 1 ratio, that results in 2,400 pulses per revolution for, uh, to be entered into uh, Andy's uh, machine's uh, code. 
which I've done. Now the, the result looks pretty good. Um, the they turn okay. But the only slight observation I've got is the gap between the teeth is a bit squarer than that gap there. Um, so I, I don't know whether that's sort of like normal really, but um, it is not 100% perfect. I mean, it's close but not 100% um, so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, cut some more gears on the hobbin machine and uh, see what they'll look like so I just thought I'd show you the pulses uh, on the scope so this is based upon um, rotary encoder uh, 600 pulses per evolution and the stepper motor 2400 uh, pulses per revolution. so for a 21 tooth gear, uh, I'm looking for um, one pulse going out for every five and a quarter pulses coming in. And that looks pretty good. Now, um, one concern I have got here is that when I do actually switch the motor on, I get some noise which is sort of a concern uh, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it at the moment I'm going to zoom in on that a bit Quite a noisy signal, isn't it? Incoming. But it does seem to be working at the moment. Okay, so this is another gear that I've just cut on the hob. And uh, just a little bit of wiggle room there. So it's not 100% perfect. And I did check the depth of cut, I didn't go beyond 45 thou, in, in fact I probably went just a touch under. Doesn't seem too bad though. Close. So the pitch circle diameter of a 48 dp gear with 21 teeth is uh, 21 divided by 48 which comes in at uh, 0.4375 now which it, with it being a diameter you'd normally add the two diameters together and divide it by two so it, it comes out that the distance um, between the two centers is actually 0.4375 and I've just used this bit of scrap to uh, drill some holes at that distance it seems to turn pretty well I'll put it under the scope so you can actually see the uh, engagement of the actual uh, teeth so there's a little bit of a clearance will look pretty good Certainly turn okay. Well, I don't know. I wish I hadn't bought that digital microscope now because it shows up every imperfection. I mean, if you just look at those gears with your normal glasses on, they look perfect. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I, I think I just need to practice a bit more and uh, do a bit more experimentation. And it might be in the future. Um, that I put um, a closed loop uh, stepper uh, motor on with a driver. I think that's something Adam's done. And 
on one of his projects and I think they're a little bit more reliable in terms of not missing steps and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, for this particular project I'm going to call it a day. Uh, but uh, I really appreciate all the uh, comments and suggestions people have made to try and uh, resolve this particular problem. And uh, like I say, I'm pretty much there I think now. And uh, if anybody else is uh, looking to undertake a project like this and uh, gets into difficulty, just have a look down some of the comments that have been made against the video, because uh, th th there's loads of them, and, and loads of them uh, are, are very helpful and get your brain going in terms of, you know, thinking about possible uh, solutions to the problem. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think now I'm able to uh, get back to my Jerry Howell V-Twin. Um, so, uh, in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you later.